Jane Smith came to the Hollywood screens in 2006, when he appeared alongside his dad, Will Smith, in The Pursuit of Happiness. He was only eight, and a promising career seemed to develop following the success of the movie. But something wasn't quite right. Jaden jumped from one project to another and created an internet persona that made him less of a Hollywood star and more of a laughing stock in the industry. Today, no one in Hollywood is casting him in their movies, and Jaden's name appears almost every time in tabloids, which are laughing at what he says online. Are the tabloids right in doing so? What went wrong with Jaden's career? Let's take a look at the fall of Jaden Smith's Hollywood career. On July 8, 1998, Jaden Christopher Sire Smith was born to one of the most famous couples in Hollywood, Will and Jada Smith. Pretty much from the moment they were born, he and his sister, Willow, were expected to follow in their parents' footsteps and become giants in the entertainment industry. They both got into acting at a super young age, often starring alongside their dad, but as they got older, their interests turned to music. Now, 23 years old, Jaden has already had so much under his belt, so where did it all start? Well, for starters, being a celebrity kid has its perks. When he was only eight, Jaden made his debut in The Pursuit of Happiness, where he played, that's right, Will Smith's character's son. For this role, he received the Breakthrough Performance Award at the MTV Movie Awards. Young Jaden's performance was applauded and deemed grandiose and full of depth. Indeed, from a very young age, Jaden had taken his parents' talent and advice about acting. He said that it's not really acting, it's you have to be in the moment. Right after The Pursuit of Happiness, Jaden became super popular with young audiences worldwide. The next natural step for him was to do more movies, and that's what he did. In 2008, he starred in The Day the Earth Stood Still, starring Keanu Reeves. Then in 2010, The Karate Kid, along with Jackie Chan. But the very same year, that is, when he was only 12, Jane took it upon himself to enter the music business. He rapped alongside the Beepster in the song Never Say Never, and two years later, he released his first mixtape, the Cool Cafe. But being an actor or a singer just wasn't enough for Jaden. He started his own clothing brand, Misfits. Then, within a few years, he was a model, stylist, fashion designer, and musician. Was it this never-ending shifting between projects and ideas that made him stray away from acting? So far away that he earned a golden raspberry for worst actor? While the glamorous lifestyle may be envied by many, Jaden suffered from always being Will Smith's son more than his own person. Jaden was also homeschooled, which made him feel even more isolated and far away from being a normal boy. He said in an interview, People treat me like I'm not a normal human, so much that you start to believe it. Like, am I not a normal human? In 2013, the film After Earth came to the screens. Once again, Jaden and his dad played a father and son duo, this time in a post-apocalyptic action film produced by none other than Jada Pinkett Smith. The movie was a disaster. It was called The Greatest Cinematic Disappointment of the Century. On Rotten Tomatoes, the film has an approval rating of 11% and an average rating of 3.9 out of 10. Above the bad rep, the movie was also a financial fiasco, raising only $60 million in comparison to its $130 million budget. Will Smith was devastated, calling the movie the most painful failure of his career. He felt guilty for dragging his son into a fiasco that could ruin his career. Unfortunately, it did kind of ruin Jaden's acting career. But Jaden kept pushing forward with brand new ideas. In 2016, he founded an eco-friendly mineral water company, Just Water. The water is packaged in biodegradable cardboard bottles and, just as you suspected, it's advertised by Jaden and his dad. Founder of Just Water. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You like doing this and this. But it wasn't long until Jaden went back to music. Maybe he was trying to break out of the mold of acting because his dad kept getting him jobs. After releasing his two mixtapes, The Cool Cafe 1 and 2, Jaden also released two albums, Sire in 2017 and Ayers in 2019. In fact, Jaden went as far as letting go of his last name and keeping only Jaden as his artist name. He was inspired by his sister Willow, who did just the same. That's strong. Willow. You feel like you don't have to say your last name. You're just Willow. Even though Jaden's career as a musician is pretty solid, he persisted with his Hollywood career, only to hit more failures. In 2016, Netflix released the musical drama show The Get Down. Even though it got some good reviews, the show got nowhere near enough audience, and it got canceled. Sure, a lot of Netflix shows get canceled, but this one was a very expensive project. How expensive, you ask? 
$120 million. Just like After Earth, the show was a complete financial disaster and another reason for Jaden Smith to get mocked online. A show that was supposed to be Jaden's big and glorious comeback turned out to be an even bigger failure than the previous films. Of course, Jaden had pumped up the high expectations for the series before he saw the audience's response. Unfortunately, this is a behavior that cost Jaden part of his social media persona. It wasn't the first time Jaden promised something big and didn't deliver. In 2016, he tweeted, I'm serious. I actually want to be a K-pop star. The following year, he tweeted that he was going to start a rock band with his sister and ex-girlfriend. But all we got was a short teaser. By now, Jaden's followers are used to him promising, but not delivering. And that's not the only thing his followers are used to. Over the last few years, Jaden has been pretty infamous for his weird social media posts. Perhaps these, more than anything else, are the dark turn that made him an undesirable Hollywood icon. In 2018, Jaden tweeted, I am not a human and I don't speak English. Okay, uh, that's pretty random, but there's more. In an interview with GQ, he said, Me and Willow are scientists, so everything for us is a scientific test upon humanity. And luckily, we're put in a position where we can affect large groups of human beings at one time. This questionable statement, be it a joke or celebrity arrogance, goes hand in hand with Jaden's close relationship with his sister. Willow and Jaden have been close ever since they were toddlers, with Willow saying it was because their parents didn't force them to love each other. When Jaden was 11 though, he admitted on The Late Show with David Letterman that Willow was bullying him a lot. And that is because Jada admitted to being harder on Willow than on Jaden. Why? Because I know in this world, we have to work harder. I needed you to be strong because I know what this world is like for us as black women. The Smith siblings are known for their quirky remarks during interviews. In an interview with the New York Times, Jaden and Willow were asked about their experiences of time, to which Willow replied, I mean, time, for me, I can make it go slow or fast, however I please, and that's how I know it doesn't exist. Jaden and Willow shared their thoughts on the relative perception of time and many random WTF moments. This interview seems benign, but it led to yet another steaming controversy. Tom Rothman, then Sony Pictures chairman, sent an email to former chairperson Amy Pascal, ranting about the Smith kids and the things they said in the New York Times interview. He finished the email with, don't let this family date your movies. Indeed, film opportunities have pretty much dried up for Jaden in the last few years. But Will Smith isn't phased by the dissing and the hissing at his kids. It's just showbiz, he says. As for Jaden, it's unclear how much the internet drama affects him. He carries on saying things like, kids who go to normal school are so teenagery, so angsty, and tweeting about the Illuminati. Sometimes it seems like there's a never-ending dialogue between Jaden's weird tweets and the internet's nasty response. In 2016, Jaden was under the media spotlight for being, well, dead. The news article said he had hung himself, although it was quickly disregarded as a hoax. This hoax, of course, generated millions of new Google searches for Jaden, including some more weird remarks. But Jaden isn't short of them either. Lately, these have been about his love life. After dating several women, such as Sarah Snyder or Odessa Adlin in the last few years, Jaden made a famous remark during one of his 2017 LA concerts. Tyler is my motherfucking boyfriend. He was talking, of course, about rapper Tyler the Creator. Then, after the rumors spiraled, he confirmed them on Beats 1. He also tweeted to Tyler, Yup, at Tyler the Creator, I told everyone, you can't deny it now. Tyler did deny it, though on camera. It's unknown whether there really was a relationship between the two, or if the two friends created the little masquerade to get buzz. What's clear is that Jaden has had many girlfriends in the past as well as the present. In 2020, Jaden was spotted with model girlfriend Sab or Sabrina Zeta. If the present day holds a successful relationship for Jaden, his mental health had a lot to suffer amid the coronavirus pandemic. He spoke about experiencing anxiety like never before being stressed about everything. He admitted he never really knew what anxiety was until recently, but now his worries are through the roof. 
Last year, Jaden made a final comeback to the screens as the main character in the romantic drama Life in a Year. He starred alongside Cara Delevingne and, maybe unsurprisingly, both the Smith parents were part of the producing team. Also unsurprisingly, the film got mixed reviews. It's unknown whether Jaden will ever be cast in a movie that isn't produced by his parents, or whether his social media persona will change as he gets older and wiser. Love them or hate him, his weird tweets and funny movie failures shape who Jaden Smith is today. We hope you liked our video. What do you think of Jaden's career? Should he focus more on music and forget about Hollywood? Or maybe change his social media attitude and hope for a positive response? Write us a comment, and while you're at it, why not hit the like and subscribe buttons?